Hi guys, I'm starting this vlog off in a really odd place. Look at me, I look like a tomato because I just went jogging. Um, very surprised how hot and sweaty I actually got when it was kind of cool and breezy. But I was jogging in a sweater, that's chocolate from ice cream that I had before my jog. So there's that. And why do I have these tools in my hand? Because I'm about to vlog something ridiculous, but I thought I'd do it anyway for girl power, but I need to change the toilet seat cover in my guest bathroom that I just made over. So I figured I would go ahead and do some like cleaning. I have a load of laundry in my laundry room. That is the comforter that goes at the end of my bed, but I need to shake it out and get the dog as much dog hair as I can off of it before I put it in the washing machine. I need to wash my sheets today and I'm trying to do all this while I'm like still hot and sweaty so that when I take a shower I'm not cleaning a dirty house when I'm clean, if that makes any sense. So here is my newly made over guest bath. I'm so obsessed with this candle, I've talked about it before. I'm gonna have to make a quick run to TJ Maxx and get another one, or at least look up this company and make sure that like I can order another one. But, okay, so yeah, this is a toilet. Let's look at a toilet, ladies, who's excited. So this toilet seat cover was not changed out when I moved in here, and it is disgusting. It's dirty, that's not poop, I promise, that's my dog. This bathroom kills me because one, it's a guest bathroom, so people come in and out and they leave the door open, which means Loxy eats the toilet paper. Do you see this? That is Loxy's artwork. So she eats the toilet paper, so I have to try to keep this door closed. And sometimes they leave the, most of the time, every time they leave the toilet seat cover up and Loxy comes and drinks out of this for whatever reason I don't know her bowl is always full always has clean water because I I only put so much because I know that she won't drink dirty water and so or like her sloppied water <coughs> so what I do is so what I do is I basically always put her just enough water and then I change her water out every like two hours. So this toilet seat cover is just utterly disgusting and it has like scratch marks, it has stains that like no one here made. We don't really use this toilet that often. So I'm gonna change it out. I have no idea how disgusting it's gonna be. I should probably find some gloves to be honest, but let's see if I can do it, ladies. I have the instructions on the new toilet seat cover that I got at Walmart. This one is so pretty and new, it was $5. $5, it says it fits most toilets, so. Okay. not as easy as I thought. So at first I just started unscrewing the bolts and then I realized nothing's really happening. So what I started to do was I started to lift up the seat as I was um, rotating counterclockwise with the screwdriver or the flathead. And <coughs> this screw came out just fine but then this one was not moving at all until I looked under and realized that the bolt actually comes out from under here and that it has this little guy that sits under here and I was like oh all I had to do was basically unscrew that little thing with my finger and so I learned something today now this 
does not fit perfectly. I'll tell you that. It says that it fits most, but it's really not the best fit, but I could care less because I'm not gonna take the seat when I leave and I'm most certainly not gonna spend extra money to fit this toilet so properly. Um, the fact that this is just already cleaner is good enough for me. my house would be complete without some Dollar Tree. This isn't an ad, although I wish. Fabuloso. So this is the maximum clean. Fresh fresco. We're gonna put it in there. Now that that's been sitting for a while, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good flush. <laughs> ladies is how it's done no man up in here okay again the seat does not fit I also do not care so let's go hey guys okay so I'm getting in bed for the night um I'm all cozy in my robe I've got my golden girls on but I wanted to tell you guys something kind of scary that's been going on. I just found out that Aaron Brockovich is writing or is investigating my town's water. Yes, Aaron Brockovich herself. So if you don't know who that is, well, I, I, I'd love to be like, that's so amazing, but no, it's not amazing when Aaron Brockovich has to be involved in your town's water supply, okay? Um, she's an amazing human being, and go watch the movie. There's actually a movie about it in which Julia Roberts plays Aaron Brockovich, and it is the saddest but also the ending oh my goodness I have chills right now but anyway so you're probably like well, what's wrong with your town your water supply so I'll tell you a couple weeks ago if not maybe even more like maybe about a month ago I started noticing in my bathroom that I was smelling like a chemical smell coming from my faucet and it was enough to be noticeable for me to know that smells like a chemical of some sort and I couldn't place like what chemical it was but I knew that it what that smell wasn't right and in my mind I kind of just thought well maybe something's wrong with like the pipes you know maybe like I need to like flush something down and clean them or like whatever and I kind of like just didn't really give it that much thought except every time I turned on my faucet I was just like this is weird I and so fast forward a month in the few forward which is the current pre, which is the present which is today I was scrolling through my Facebook and um, I'm a member of like some like Facebook garage sale sites and sometimes people post more than I'm selling items. Sometimes people ask for like information. And this one lady posted, why does my water smell like chlorine? What is going on? And I was like, and that immediately sparked my eye because I went to my like bathroom sink situation. So I opened up her post and then started reading the comments realizing there were a couple people who were like oh nope 
my water's fine. Then there were people who were like, yes, I am have the same problem. And then, you know, people were posting, like, links and things. And then there's this other group. And, and so, anyway, come to find out through traveling down this channel of research that there is a link about Aaron Brockovich talking about DFW's water supply and there it's specific cities and my city's one of them and she was talking about how bad it is and that it's not safe and that um like the water regulator people um are basically saying that it's fine it's not a big deal and she's like basically saying no it's not safe and there are some things that are just not in regulation or something yet and so because of that they can't call it safe or unsafe like we definitely don't drink the tap water although I have to say I ran out of water bottles about a week ago for about three days because I was too lazy to go to the store and get them and so I was drinking tap water and I'm just like oh my god I just don't trust like what's happening like Aaron Brockovich that's crazy to me I mean I just didn't expect that because really she's out of California and the attorneys that she works for are out of California and the whole G&E water thing is out there I just never expected for this to even remotely have a connection between her and, and the water that I'm smelling right now. Good morning. I am, well, I almost just, I am getting ready to head out and go to work. I thought I would show you guys my work outfit. Today, I tried to go for more of a pink pinky wow my lips are coming across really pink on camera but they are not this pink um i got pink blush on i think i'm just one of those people where i i just look better in blush i just do like if i'm not wearing it it is not cute i'm just trying to find all the things i need to take with me to work and then we'll look at my OOTD, but let's see if I can do this well. Probably not. Okay, so here's the kind of overview black heels. I need more heels because I basically wear the same heels every single day. Um, I have a lot of shoes, I just don't have a lot of heels that can go with multiple outfits. You see my outfit way better in here, but it's kind of like high-waisted and it's got like a little frilly um, sleeve and then it has a little bow tie and look how cute it is. It's like, it looks like a tube top and this is kind of like materials coming out of it. It's really cute. The bow's looking a little, a little sad, but, and of course I wore my favorite earrings, pretty much the earrings I wear the majority of the time. I did my hair straight. I'm not sure why because it's supposed to rain, but here is the skirt. It's really mod 60s kind of in a way. So I'm now on my way to work. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do... I'm sorry. Kiss I don't. I don't know that that tree is so pretty. I think it's wisteria. It's so pretty. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to do much vlogging today because after work I have a parent uh, cheer coach meeting. So that's going to be interesting, let me tell you. If only I could tell you the drama. But um, I'm not involved in it. Mm -mm, no, I do not want to be in any sort of issue. I'm a single mom. I'm just, I'm just trying to get my kid off to college. Um, but yeah, so I have that meeting. It's not going to last that long, but then I have to come home and, and, um, 
try to get myself situated on videos because I really just don't even know like where I'm at. I haven't really been fo following my my list. I definitely make like an entire list on how I plan for videos and um, things like that. And I just, don't, well one, I don't have a list from here on out. And two, what I've been doing in the past, I haven't really been following the list. So anyway, um, so that's it. I hope that you guys have a good day at work if you're working and we'll all get through this together. See you guys.